Welcome back to the Silverdome. I'm Jim Gray. Just 21 yards so far for Barry Sanders. Eric Dickerson has the all-time record, 21.05. Eric, he looks as though you're and three for the Lions. He trailed 10-6, final seconds, third quarter. Sanders on the draw. Longest run of the game, and he's in the clear. 40, 30, inside the 20. Barry Sanders brings this crowd to life. Forty-seven yards at the end of the third quarter as the Lions spot the ball at the seven. They trail 10 to 6, and we'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. Welcome back, fourth quarter. Playoff hopes of both teams depend on a win today, and Barry Sanders' 47 yard run, the longest against the Jets all season, has moved him past Earl Campbell, the third best rushing year in NFL history. He needs 61 more to hit 2,000. First down, more importantly for the Lions, at the Jets 17-yard line. Sanders. Inside the 10-yard line, a gain of nine more. The second and goal from the 15-yard line. And give it to Sanders. tight end number 86 he's the reason he gave Barry Sanders a chance for, on this run now hold on well should have stop it as soon as we get through here watch what he does to Otis Smith right there Otis Smith puts his leg out he was going out then back in wow and you know what there's been a lot of defenders this year over the years never lay a glove on Barry Sanders when you have his head to right Otis Smith he just joins that list I remember talking to Bruce Smith for an interview and I said to him how about tackling Barry Sanders he says it's easy if he doesn't see it but he has such great vision himself and now he looks toward 2000 needs 37 more Jets turn they start from the 16 Neil O'Donnell back at quarterback deafening roar in the Silver Dome and time out Jets have to call a timeout. Richie Anderson, number 20, the tight end, lines up on the wrong side. The crowd is so loud, he couldn't hear the offensive player telling him to go to the other side. Neil O'Donnell, no time, has to call a timeout. And fires up the Lions defense and this crowd. First down, one of the timeouts spent. Dick Hantak, the referee, walking in. Yeah, Neil O'Donnell saying we cannot hear. Three the other. And getting quiet so we can get a play. This is... Oh, you gotta go, it's just not that loud. You're right, he's got to go. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. And now they pick that up. And now the Lions defense motioning to the crowd now. We have asked the defensive team for assistance. If the noise persists, the defense will be charged with a timeout. The Lions have rallied 13-10, and the Lions have just intercepted the Jets in the Lions end zone, and Barry Sanders is over 2,000 yards on that carry out across the 40. 2,000, the third man. Now, he is not. 
Now that is in 2000. We had the wrong information. He's over the 100 yard mark, 114. 17 more is needed. That yardage got him over 100, so that's 14 consecutive games over 100 yards, an NFL record. Now he goes for the 2000 and slams for about eight. Let's go down to Jim Gray. All right, Reggie Brown, the line linebacker, was injured here in this fourth quarter. Second and two. Sanders again. This time to the 50 and slides under to the 49 and a first down. And now Sanders only a handful of yards away from 2,000. They're keeping track over there. <laughs> Seven to go. <laughs> That'll do it for you. There's your stats guy <laughs> down the field. I'll watch that. Sanders comes out for a breather. The workhorse who was held in check brilliantly the first half was able to rush for only 20 yards, but has opened it up with a big run at the end with us. The Lions win. They're in the playoffs. If they lose, they're out. The same scenario for the Jets. Must win to continue in the playoffs. And the Jets have just received an unlucky stroke from an official's call in the end zone. Uh, an apparent non-interception was called an interception by the Lions when the Jets were first and goal from the nine. And now the Lions marching since that controversial call. Sanders is back. Sanders to the 43-yard line, a gain of four. One, the Jet defense right here. It's getting tired. It can't be as disciplined. That's the reason why Barry Sanders all of a sudden is finding these holes to run in. Third and three. Sanders. The door slams at the 42, a gain of one. Jim Gray at the Pontiac Silverdome. Barry Sanders in his quest to become the third ever to rush for 2,000 in the season needs two more. He's on the sidelines. It's frustration. They know it's the end of the season for them. And those things happen. Sanders needs two for 2,000, and he's right about at two there, out to the 40 yard line and that would put him right on the spot 2000 timeout called by the Jets with 206 left officially two is the call and that's at 2000 but Sanders you know loses yards perhaps as frequently as any great back that was his father from Wichita here to celebrate as was the case with the 80,000, most of them here at the Silverdome, to cheer Sanders. To read two minutes and 10 seconds. 31 today. Well, they should take the ball out of the game. That's what if there he you... loses a couple of them the next year. Yeah, they're going to take this What's ball do? because this is the ball that, that he got 2,000. Joining Eric Dickerson, who's here at the Silverdome, and O.J. Simpson, the only man in history to rush for 2,000 yards in a season. That was so funny. When we were talking to Barry Sanders yesterday, don't think I said it earlier. You know, he said, well, it would be great to get 2,000, wouldn't it? He said, yeah. <laughs> well, how about... There it is. The linemen, they're the ones who wanted the 2,000. Barry didn't talk about it. Watching on the sidelines, William. <laughs> Herman Moore stole the ball. Sanders is as modest a superstar as I have ever met in all of sport. Well, Jake, I think that's what makes it so great. He's so modest, such a good player. And to accomplish this with his style and the size, you know, Barry Sanders, such a small running back, it, it just seems so improbable and that's what makes it such a wonderful story. Trying to add the 2,000 on second and eight. He gets the call. Here he goes! All the way to the three-yard line. 53 yards, the longest against the Jets defense all season. I hope Eric Dickerson didn't go home. <laughs> see something well it just shows you what little margin of error you have on defense when you're playing against Barry Sanders the defense gets a little bit tired late in the game the hole is probably just a foot wider but once he gets through it 
Hard to bring down. Sanders moves into the number two spot all time rushing in the season. 